In this video, I'm going to take a look at using page N of M in a report design document or in a report design that allow you to put that page N of M on a header or a footer. So if you want to say page 1 of 20, page 2 of 20, you'll have the ability to do so. The, some of the background before we get into showing it to you within the Genero report designer, um, we're going to be using two numeric functions. Um, they're going to be used inside of our page number box. One is get page number, and it'll get the page number of a specified page. The other is get total number of pages. It'll get the total number of pages for that specified page. You'll notice that each of these takes a parameter. It's a string, and it's the page name. So before we go in to start editing our properties, we need to know what page it is we're trying to get the page number for. Once we have a page number box on the page, you're going to alter the text expression property to enter in the formula that's going to display page 1 of 20, page 2 of 20, and so on. The last thing to know is that when we're printing out to SVG, if you're looking at it through the report viewer, you're going to see that it doesn't cause latency. As soon as the first report data page is ready, you're going to get that page. If you look at the bottom of the footer, it'll start by saying page 1 of 1. However, by the time the report is done, if you look at that same footer again, it'll say page 1 of 20 or page 1 of however many pages you have. This means that latency is not happening if you're, if you're printing to SVG. If you're printing to something like PDF, then of course we will need to know the total number of pages before we output that first report page. Let's go ahead and look at Genero Studio. For this demonstration, I've gone ahead and I've created a report that I'm calling the Sample List Report. I use the list report template uh, to create a, a quick report. Um, when I execute this report, it creates an eight-page report. Um, you can see that I have a page number up here. I have a sample footer going on. And it just has eight pages of data. So this is the starting point for going in and adding our page N of M. Now, if I want to add the page N of M to, for example, the sample footer, so my any page footer, I'm adding my page N of M there. First thing I need to do is I need to go and I need to put a page number box in the footer. Once I have that page number box there, uh, by default, it's just going to give sequential page 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So I need to make it say page N of M. I need to identify what is the name of the page that I'm trying to count. Now my page is going to be the sample page root. That's the name of the mini page that I'm trying to keep account of. Now that I know that, that name, I can go into that page number box. I can go and look at my text expression. I open up my expression editor. And now I need to enter in the expression. So if I wanted to say page N of M, I need to st first start with my string, so I'm just going to say page. At this point, if I printed it out, it has a valid expression, but now I want to put in the first get page number function. So I'm going to say format, and here if I use my control space bar, it's going to open up my expression uh, completion editor. So I want to format. The function I want is my get page number function. And now I need to put in the name of the page. So our page was the sample page root. And close my parentheses. Now I want this to be in Arabic numbers. Now when I close my parentheses at this point, my expression is OK. I have page 1, page 2, page 3. But now I wanted to say of n. So I can start by putting in my next string, which is just the word of with spaces on either side. And now I need to put in my next uh, formula or my next function. So I want to format, and then it's going to be the get total number of pages. Again, I have to put in the name of the page. So it's my sample page root. I want to close my parentheses, and then I want them to be Arabic again. 
close it, and at this point, my expression is complete. Ahead and open up by my report runner. I want to run this sample list report. I'm going to click OK and then very quickly go over and we're going to look at our, our report viewer. Here you can see it says page one of one. The report's still processing, but by the time it's finished, you can see that it's changed to say page one of eight. So I've implemented my page N of M. I've put it onto a report. I scroll through and see that it happens on each page. And you saw that the first page of the report is being delivered prior to the complete report having been executed.